Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you an episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. So I've just been hankering to play this game recently, and apparently hankering to use the word hankering, which is a word I don't generally like, um, but I have a glitched out file, so I have not actually played for a while. You might notice if I exit out of what I currently have here, I have real Platinum God, but if I go into my new run, you might notice that some of my, well, a lot of my people have not beaten the dark room. So, I don't know what that's about, but for now I'm going to try to be unlocking new things because why not? And I think I am going to start out with, you know, just a regular Apollyon run. Win streak of minus five. Jesus, man. I have not been doing too well. So I'm not sure how long this series is going to go, it's probably not going to be until I unlock everything, but I figured if I was playing it, I might as well play it for you guys instead of just playing it on my own and being antisocial and not putting out any videos, so that's that's where this is coming from. That was a, <laughs> a fairly good dodge followed by some horrible play. I'm going to be a wee bit rusty. I don't mind having a Wheel of Fortune card because, you know, as NL would put it, it's a value add to any time I need to use a bomb in the future. I really hate these rooms with the flies that follow you around and the spiders. Just not fantastic. Also, I have a very weird um, keyboard to be playing Isaac with. My arrow keys are aligned in a square and I use this weird rubber keyboard specifically so I don't make clicking noises with any possible keyboard. And I get a... isn't that the worst fly? Isn't that the one that does like no damage? So here I'm going to use a void item. For those of you who don't know, the void sucks up spacebar items so that whenever you use the void it uses those spacebar items. But if you suck up a non-spacebar item, it disappears and gives you a random stat increase and I think two random stat increases and one random decrease or maybe sometimes just two increases. Anyways, it's random. There we go. Got a tier to lay up or a tier to lay down, so I'm now shooting massively faster, which is quite nice. Don't know if I... I don't have my item tracker up, do I? Well, I only have the void right now, so I don't know if I have my item tracker up. These guys looked like hell when I first saw them in the game, but they became completely less hell when I realized, or when I figured out that they don't actually hurt you. They just run into you over and over again. Please, just... That was some of the worst shooting ever. I would definitely not make Rebel, Rebel Squadron, Rogue Squadron, probably be assigned to like, I don't know, Blue Squadron or something. You know, the usual. Okay, okay, come on. Ah! Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. These summoners can be annoying. They usually disappear quite quickly though, after summoning just a few enemies. So there we go. Now I can look for a secret room, and at the same time that I'm doing that, I can drop the Wheel of Fortune for the value add that I was talking about earlier. And I think there's only one possible location for the Seeker Room, so let's head over here, drop the Wheel of Fortune. I almost want to, you know, play that one once. There we go, got a tarot card, hermit card, free access to the shop, so that there's lots of money in here. Oh man, okay, there's nothing in here that I can actually get. There is a Tinted Rock, but I do not have a bomb. I may be back here in the future. I got one key out of that, out of that, that machine. Okay, get me out of here. Get away from this bomb spider. I wish bomb spiders dropped bombs, that'd be kind of nice. I'm gonna finish off the room because I would really like a bomb for an extra spirit heart. My play on uh, making the right plays level is fairly good, but compared to a lot of other YouTubers, um, my play on an actual play level is quite bad. So. Just a warning, you're going to have to forgive me a bit for that. Especially since I am almost a year out of practice since I played this game last. I, I played one run before before starting this. And as you can see by the minus five win streak, I clearly lost that run. Oh no, no, I won that run and then I did the victory lap. And the victory lap did not count as a win, so... I'm not sure if that's a bug or working as intended, but I don't like it. I have good timing here on the um, void play because I will have a void play ready the second that I need a void play, or the second that I could need a void play. If this item's good, I'm definitely not going to avoid it just because it's fun to suck up items. 
You know, if I if I get Squeezy, that's another tiers upgrade. I'm almost certain it actually will max out my tiers. Because I think Squeezy is a minus three tier delay. Which would be fantastic. Definitely want to kill that before it spawns any spiders. I was pretty sure I could play chicken with that boss there. Evil upgrade. An evil upgrade and one spirit heart. Evil upgrades can be good, but they're not very good. It's going to get sucked. Got a damage upgrade and minus two tiers again. Some fantastic suckage going on here. I have a kitten next to me who really wants attention. Whenever I start recording, the kittens are like, Oh my god, he's talking. He's probably talking to us. We should go see what's up here. 100% chance of a deal with the devil. I have the hermit card. I do not know my health, but my health is two and a spirit heart. Important to note and a donation machine, apparently. Too bad I can't fly or else I could get the rest of those, those buttons. The cat wants attention so bad. She's like nuzzling my... No, get away from my soundboard, Noodle. She wants the attention. I don't know where it's safe here. Ah, okay. So... Here's where my play kind of suffers, because I am not entirely certain that if that took away half a heart or a whole heart. Explosions, if I'm not mistaken, usually take away a whole heart. So that means I now need a spirit heart. I don't have the money for a spirit heart, but I do have a bomb and a key. Ah, interesting all around. I do not know what I should do. It's gonna drop spiders. I have good attack, I have good fire rate. This room should not be an issue. Although, some of my least favorite rooms in the game are... Oh, okay, I got distracted by the cat who's knocking over my shit now, and then I took a hit. Come on, Noodle. What's going on with you? What What is up? Where's my webcam? I kind of want to... kind of want to show you what she's doing. Okay. Sorry about the weird things going on now. Let's go... She's not rolling around anymore, but she was. Hey, Noodle. What's going on? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just giving the camera kisses. Are you a good girl, Noodle? Just rolling around like a, like a champ. That is not where I want you. That is really close to my soundboard right there. Um, okay, anyways. Let's erase that camera. I'm sorry about the distraction, but she she will not stop. She will not stop messing with my stuff. Okay, okay, let's get going. I actually, I know that that took away a full heart now because I have 1% deal with the devil chance up to 35. I am slightly bitter about that since I died to dis or I lost that deal to, to the deal with the devil deal to the devil from distraction. Definitely want to have a void play ready for before. Yeah, before I go to that room. So I'm gonna do two more rooms before I fight the boss. Maybe I'll even find the item room in the meantime. Can you find the item in the, or the item room in the nice time? Do you always have to be talking about mean times? Yes, yeah, like, yes, always mean times. Apparently there aren't two more rooms available. All stats up though, very nice. It's not a big all stats up, it's only half a damage upgrade, but, and it's not even all stats up, it didn't increase my fire rate. I know the fire rate can reach five, or is six the max? I thought I remembered it being five. Maybe five is what I, what you get if you break the tier cap. Definitely going to be killing this room fairly easily, and that is actually the last room before I fight the boss, so only room for a single void play on this floor. Almost feel like I should have sucked the de the uh, all stats upgrade. I guess it gave me a health though, and I shouldn't really complain about having some extra health. It's only one possible location for my secret room, except uh, there's... Okay, interesting. If this is blocked, it's generally impossible for a secret room to be there, but I'm not sure if a button counts as being blocked. I'm gonna try. Okay, apparently a button... Well, either a button counts as being blocked or it just isn't there and it's somewhere weird instead. Very strange. Very strange. So many things I don't know. It's been a while since I've played and apparently I have just not kept up with the Isaac knowledge. 
because now there's so many rooms that I'm like, how does this work with the rules? PJs, I like because that will guarantee me a deal with the devil on the next floor. I could teleport to the item room. Um, I was thinking, there's a trick to get free items from the item rooms, but it is not this. It is the bent penny, which I do not have unlocked yet. I, I knew there was a new item that would allow you to get free pennies from the item room. Mimic chest there being pretty obvious. Don't think I want to do that for any reason. Hopefully he gives me Mr. Mega. I'm not sh I would not suck it up. I might suck up um, Mr. Boom, but Mr. Mega I actually quite like and I've been pretty low on supplies this run, just like one key here and there. Two bombs and a nickel I can deal with. I am going to take that pill, kill as many rocks as possible at the same time. Could be a black market, luck down, lovely, minus one luck, that'll really help with my consumable woes that were going on. And now we keep on going, I would really like to kill these flies near the fat bat tomos. Ah, no, I'm calling them by the NL term, stop that, yes it. <laughs> and I tried too hard, and I didn't get very far because of it. And in the end it kind of mattered because that half heart could be like the win or lose condition of the game. Oh my god. So when I say I am not a very good shot, this is exactly what I mean. I got stuck between the bullets there, okay. So when those mushrooms, their, when their faces are revealed, they are actually considerably more vulnerable to damage. They have tons of HP if their faces are not revealed. I want to take this guy out immediately because he boxes me in with creep in this room. Excellent. Okay, same thing again. Gotta kill the creep boxer. Fortunately, I have a fair amount of momentum on my shot, so I can just kind of slot them in on these guys. I do have two keys, so I can go sh item room shop if I want. I have not had much money in this game, though, so the shop I do not think is a strong possibility. Just leaving enough room for me to dodge there. This guy is a champion, so I don't want to get hit by him. Yeah, or by either of these guys, for that matter. Although they shoot with such high shot speed when they die that I'm not sure how well I can avoid it. Okay, two gurglings, easy enough, have good damage, I have good, um, good shot speed, I have good range. In all honesty, this is just a pretty good run, but the problem is it's pretty good, not great. I don't even think I can even possibly make it to boss rush, which I, I need to do with boss rush. This room is so small! What? in hell's name am I supposed to do there? See, my fundamentals are just not on point here, is my main issue. Could use a hermit card in order to save a key. What's this, Awaz passage rune? Very well could be a trap door or a black market. I only have seven cents. I have one bomb. Can this be a secret room? This can be a secret room. Let's give it a try. It is a secret room. If one of these is explosive diarrhea, yeah, I can get a free shop there. And I can also get a better deal with the devil chance, even though I'm currently guaranteed one. One makes you smaller. And 24 hour, 48 hour energy. So I can actually be sucking things now all the time. Nuns have it would be nice, but I can't really afford it. What's this? Two of spades. Double your keys. That's the bare minimum amount of keys I can get, but I would prefer to carry the Hermit, apparently. Okay, fair enough. I do have the map temporarily, so I know that this floor is coming to an end. I think I'm drowning. Let's fix it. It makes you feel so much faster when you have the one pill makes you smaller pill. One makes you smaller pill. One pill makes you smaller pill, and another pill makes you larger pill. And the pills that the pills that pills. Oh god. Pills at the pills, but dang, da dang, dicky. Um, rotten tooth, dead tooth, halitosis. Okay, so um, while I'm shooting, I have a poison aura around me. I didn't know what that was, so I was definitely going to take it. Might as well fight Mega Fatty right away. I was really hoping that he would be, still be next there. Issue with Mega Fatty: he can jump real fast. He can also jump real slow. But he leaves creep during that, and it's a much easier shot to to warn against, or to be warned against, or to warn against in return. I was really hoping to kind of get up in there and poison him a bit. 
You know that halitosis is actually a term invented by uh, mouthwash companies? Like, it, it is not actually a real thing. It, like, you can have conditions that cause you to have bad breath, but the term halitosis was legitimately coined, I forget by which, by which company. Interesting fact, learned from Cracked. Can't recommend that site enough. Um, pills, bad gas. Not having great luck with my pill selection here. So I think what I want to do is take the nail, use the nail, put the nail down, use the void, which will also use the nail again, take ceremonial robes, and then essentially take Spirit of the Night for free. Seems like probably the best option. Don't have enough money for the shop. Kind of want to try to get to Boss Rush, so I'm gonna, gonna do this real quick here. Let's do this real quick, baby, real quick. Like a speedrunner, baby, real quick, quick, quick. Cut, to cut you to the quick. Like, no, cutting to the quick, that, that actually means the quick of the nail, so you're in, kind of insinuating that you're cutting somebody's nails, I think? Which is a bit weird to me. If, if I'm wrong about that, please do tell me, but I'm pretty sure the quick means, like, the quick of the nail. Maybe it just means unpleasantly cut you? Like, made you feel uncomfortable and hurt? Is it more of a, is it more of a vocal metaphor? I don't know. Like, that really cut me to the quick? Is it not even a metaphor, and I just heard it used as a metaphor before? Oh god, I don't like that. I have four keys, so I can go to a double key room. Don't have any bombs. And I do only have one extra, or two extra keys now. Gonna do it anyways. Flat penny, very worth it. Extra keys, sometimes. Um, I say extra keys sometimes, but have to keep in mind that this rhyme that I designed this rhyme to explain it to time it's so unreal that I have very low luck this is definitely gonna get sucked I do not want an occasional shot out of the back of my head and I'm pretty sure this is mom's eye and not triple shot which looks slightly different I have no HP so I can do that but I don't want to do it for a single chest Okay, three extra bombs, very nice. That means I can come up here and open that stone chest, and if it's not an item or really bad, I can pick up some money and pick up some keys. There we go. One key, got it. One key, I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind and the locks are tight. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta say though, Linkin Park songs might be bad, Small guilty pleasure of mine, only when I'm really drunk and playing rock band though, because everybody knows the lyrics when they're drunk. Literally everybody. It's pretty much the best drinking song. Could blow up a statue in order, or a, one of those greed guys in order to get an extra deal with a devil chance here, but it would. The deal with the devil chance you get for doing that scales with the amount of. That sucks. Scales with the amount of deal with the devil chance you already have. So I don't think it's worth the bomb for like 1.75% deal with the devil chance. Could be. Like if I get the if I get the deal, then it was worth it. But who knows how much that contributed. But if you get 2% and then you get a deal with the devil, you have to thank yourself for the 2%. Pretty much no matter what. What does this give me? Um, extra damage, less speed, and oh, a luck! My luck is back up to zero, that's really good. And I got half a spirit heart? Oh yeah, I used the void item. I used the void. I forgot that I used Des Moines. Oh, I also forgot that there were two batteries on the previous floor that I could have used to get two more two more spirit hearts. <laughs> See, this is what I mean that I'm over pra out of practice here. That was absolutely a play in the past that I would not have neglected to make. Except I am in a bit of a hurry. So I can like strafe people with my halitosis and kill the hell out of them if I feel like it, but a bit risky on enemies who change directions all the time. Like these ones. I always like to kill the guy in the front of the line with these conga liners. Stop them from splitting and going all over the map. Two extra bombs. I have flying so it's half a spirit heart to get in or out of there. Let's see what's there. Stone chest, 
And two red chests. Okay, spirit hearts already paid for itself. Pills. My pills so far have been horrible. There is an adult transformation now. So that's just, just, just the shop. I'm going to keep this 48 hour energy with me so that I do not waste all these nail charges. Like I have half a charge already. So the second I I get my next charge, I can then use the 48 hour energy to get two more charges. Ooh, that's an ideal. That'll at least keep me alive through my bad play. Oh, the poison, wow. I didn't even think that I had managed to poison them. It's Bonies being a bit of a pain. Let's just, let's do my strategy of strafing the hell out of them here. Well, and killed at least two with those strafes. Dem strafes. My lovely lady strafes. Oh yeah, Spirit of the Night also gives you um, spectral tears, doesn't it? I sometimes forget about that. I hate those spiders that now that drop egg sacs when they die. Although it's a very logically designed enemy, like spiders have egg sacs. And they often die with them and then spiders hatch out of them. That's, uh, that's a very good item. I'm gonna save this charge until after I've beaten the boss. It's a double hollow in a tiny room and one of them's glitched out to just stay at the top of the room. Do I want one of every item? I have a good trinket, I have enough health. I'm definitely gonna just suck this. There we go, got my extra tier, lost some speed. And then 48 hour energy. Only gave me one charge, unfortunately, but it does take me up to quite a few spirit hearts. Remember that I can also cr crush rocks when that happens. I am way behind the mark for boss rush. Like, this is just not working out. There's no way I'm beating the next two floors in one minute, so I may be able to do the hush, but boss rush is just not a possibility at, this, at the present. At present. At the present. Give me the present. You never give me those presents. You only give me your funny papers. That is kind of a pain in the ass champion there. Shoots a bomb directly towards you and shoots six shots all around. I can just hang out over rocks. Good thing to remember. It's also good to remember when. Good to remember to remember when I lost my mind. That is also a strategy I never really thought about. I'm just gonna take this right away. Save myself some time. Like I said, not making it to boss rush, but I might as well try for the hush fight. And might as well also try for all these spirit hearts here. Done and done. Let's keep moving on. Keep on keeping on, as they famously say. I really appreciate that spider. You could have jumped anywhere on the map, but instead you jumped directly on the spike, the only place that would have killed your egg sack instantly. I always hate placing these. There we go. One spirit heart and three flies. Makes this room pay for itself, and I'm really getting up there in terms of health. So, happy days are near. Monday, Tuesday, happy day. Wednesday, Thursday, kind of shitty days. Friday, Saturday, really good days. Just saying, oh my god, that means somebody's laundry's done. Enjoy the little song if you can hear that. Although I can hear the background noise better on my monitor than you guys generally can, so you might not be able to hear that song at all, especially if I talk over the whole thing, which is my current objective. A pill, bombs are key. Yeah, you know, not bad. Really, you can only use limited keys, but you can use tons of bombs for combat if you really have to. Let's just poison some things here. It's my fastest way of making sure I get the kill. That guy should only have like a hit left. Oh, I thought this guy was another one of those white masks that just float around the room. Clearly not. That is sack or bagged lunch. I'm fairly certain. Like, what's the point? I, I guess I'll consume it. Oh, it was, um, it wasn't the bean I thought it was. That, so that bean actually recharges several times per room and, what am I trying to say? Recharges several times per room, normally, and does that huge, like, explosive rock shot, which is kind of cool, but unfortunately I kind of have to stick with the Void. No point in playing as a Polyon if you're not going to use the Void, right? That, that just seems like a waste. Love poisoning those guys. Have 17 cents, black candle, oh, uh, luck down, yeah, lovely. Definitely wanted that. Let's see what this 5 cent item is. Joker! 
have a 75% chance of getting a deal with the devil right now, so I'm not going to put too much into getting the Joker working. Oh my god. That is more hands than I thought there were going to be. I'm not going to invest too much in using the Joker right away. King enemies are annoying. Although I kind of forget what they... Like, there's something other than them just having a lot of health that they do, but I forget what it is. Although, maybe I wish they were slightly more annoying, because I like the idea of special types of the same enemy, but you give them like a power two or make them move double speed or something crazy like that. I'm gonna actually gonna drop a rock or two here because, wait a second, I should not drop a rock or two because all these are gonna do is block his shots and not mine. His shots, not mine. What then to do about this, this shot mania? I don't know. He is going to be doing a brimstone and jumping. He cannot jump past the rocks! Do not jump past the rocks! This is maybe the most damage I have ever taken on Monstro 2. It is actually rather embarrassing. Okay, he's gonna jump twice. Neither of those are gonna make it to me. Okay, that one actually was very close. I'm loving the, the halitosis, actually. Fantastic item, if you ask me. Just an easy way to do damage. Dolly gives you a bunch of types of hearts and a tears up. Not very useful for, uh, for right now. Sacrificial dagger, I will definitely take. If I'm doing lots of close range stuff, I might as well. So next floor may be my chance to actually use this Joker card. I'd really like to just rush down this floor, but I seem to be accidentally exploring every nook and cranny. And I do not like it. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I actually have a cousin who raises chickens at their house. It's kind of like in the country outside of a town in BC. So they have a little chicken coop. And one, they're, they're, they have a couple chickens who lay green eggs, which are a real thing. The egg itself is not, like if you cook it, it's just normal egg, but the shell is green. Thought that might be a cool little piece of knowledge that green eggs are an actual real thing, just not what people think they are. Why did I char charge them? I know how these enemies act. It's just been so long, guys. Probably should have gotten closer before using that. Just figured I could use the extra spirit heart. I cannot observe the room. I'm gonna win this run. This run is um too good to be lost by me. But I can be very disappointed in how I'm playing. Four rerolls, all the items on the floor. So I'm definitely going to actually be coming back for that floor room if things are bad. I do want the items in it too, but I don't want to do backtracking right now. So annoying. I don't think I'm even going to make the hush. This run just, it, it's good. It is really quite good but it's not great. It doesn't have like the oomph I need to make things fast. So do run one more room and then, oh my god. Okay, this is a lot of enemies. Okay, this is no enemies now since they destroyed a black heart. So I'm gonna use this, crack all these skulls, cause why not? Get another um, two of clubs, there we go. Double my bombs up. Head back here, grab this, use it on the next room for the damage bonus, I think. Yeah, this is a good room for it. So I should really remember to use the, oh my god, <laughs> it's a mirage. I'm telling all y'all, it's sabotage. It's a lot of mom's hands anyways, if it's not sabotage. Didn't know there was gonna be another hand there after that. Keep giving me their hands, I don't want a hand. I want to be on like the next floor two minutes ago. That's what I need. Any type of mapping would be incredibly nice. The Joker card is nice. I don't need this many keys. Stop going back for the keys. I do have a problem with games like Isaac, especially ones that want you to move fast to get certain objectives. Is that I'm really, it really bothers me to not pick everything up. I don't like not doing the whole floor to its most, to its entirety. Finishing off every floor as much as I can finish off every floor is probably what I was actually trying to say there, since what I did say was nonsense. Known sense. It is sense that you know. Okay. Free. Okay, broken hourglass is 
not good enough to suck, so I'm going to go ahead and re-roll it. But I'm going to do this room first, so I get... Oh my god, okay, just... That hit me. Lovely, I thought I was fast enough to get out of there. Do that room. Go fast. Back to the four room. I'm not going to make it to the Hashi, am I? Three minutes to do two floors with no mapping? What did I just do that for? I didn't know I could pick those up before. Sun card gives me mapping. Should have used that on the next floor since I was already almost done this floor. And the mistakes, they just stack up, don't they? Hey, maybe this deal with the devil, I'll get brimstone and I can just... Just steamroll the rest of the run. Two floors in three minutes is possible. Mr. Mega, earlier I said I wanted it, now I don't want it. I'll just take the stat upgrade, the luck is very nice. Use that damage bonus for the mum fight, or maybe don't because I could also just not. Seeing if there was, you know, there's no reason not to take the Poke Go, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Could also pick up a Spirit Heart for five cents there in the form of, um, in the form of a dragon, no, in the form of that battery charge. Didn't really see if there was a Spirit Heart. No, just, just get the poison off. I'm really trying to rush it, but I'm not too good at rushing things. But I am pretty good at rushing things. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I act, oh my god, I got, got a Brimstoner. Fantastic. Okay, take the Polaroid, use a Joker. Um, this is, oh my god, really? I have permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't think I am actually making the hush fight. So I think my best option is to actually just play the hell out of these guys as fast as I can. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't get me. I have the virus. This guy just continuously attacks, huh? He's going to be really good until he disappears. I really don't think I can make the three minutes on that. Please just... I have 48 hour energy as one of my things. I could get spun. I don't think I picked up a syringe already, but these guys can all pay out with syringes. Bad guess. Two syringes. What's this? Amnesia, lovely. Pretty fly. Bad gas. And I'll take the world card because that'll give me mapping on the next floor. Maybe I could have actually made it, but now I definitely can't complete two floors in one minute. There is no way. I'm going to try anyways, but, like, it's, it's just going to take me too long. You know what? Let me get out of here. Let me get out. Out, 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 out. I don't want to fight that king enemy. I don't want to get that, even though it could give me, um, spun. I do actually have... Oh, I got two friendly laser guys? What the hell is this? Okay, Blackheart, Polydactyly, Brimstone, use this, bomb that guy, and get going. 12 seconds. No, there's no way I'm going to make it. I should stop rushing because it's, it's just wasting my health at this point. Especially at this point. I don't care to do this room because those guys can take forever to pop up. And you know what? Let's, um, let's actually play these guys. I have given up entirely now. I know this is um, maybe a horrible move, but I really want to get the um, payout on this. Okay, well, I might have more to give him later, but I'm pretty sure two spirit hearts or two black hearts is my max right now. I definitely don't want to give up permanent Polaroid invincibility. I'm not sure if sucking it up can give me the. I'm not sure if sucking it up can give me a health upgrade. I think it's only stats. There we go, got all of them dead. 
I definitely want to do enough rooms to get some HP so I can so I can play that Demon Judgment some more, maybe get spun. This this run is a win, so I don't really have to do this, but I want to. Is that a Tinted Rock back there? I'm really bad at um, identifying Tinted Rocks on the womb because I don't bother to even try. But that looks tint. that is Tinted. And two keys, lovely, exactly what I wanted actually. This champion, champion friendly blood spewing clitoris, because that's what they are, is really lasting a long time. Anarchist cookbook, that puts me one third of the way to the bookworm transformation. I don't want to suck that. I suck on these. Okay, I can hold two cards. That was the stupidest shit. Okay, now, well now I have to I have to use this to actually gain HP. I took damage again. This should be a one run. Now I'm looking for Tinted Rocks, because I'm real dumb. Baby, real dumb. Like a regular baby could have died right there, dumb. What's this, full health? Lovely, that's exactly what I needed. Don't let me fool you into thinking this is not my fault. This is entirely my fault. Any Tinted Rocks? Yes, there is, okay. I have been saved by, oh, no, I haven't. Uh, I should have taken a hit there. I have taken the hit that started the whole world laughing, okay. It was a hit of just like parsley that I thought was weed. No, that's not even a true story and I'm dead. Well. Failure of a run. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I'm sorry things were so disappointing this time. I promise they will be better. Well, I don't promise. I hope that they will be better next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.